I was really young when I started to understand that food could make me happy. When I was a toddler, my weight was normal. It wasn't until I was around five that my weight gain started. Christmas Eve, right before I turned five years old. We went and stayed with some family for the holidays. And that's when one of them molested me for the first time. After that, my life was never the same. But that was just the start of it, because it lasted until I was 13. I didn't say anything to anybody for a long time. And so every time my mom sent us to their house, it happened to me again. And she sent us to their house a lot because my father wasn't around. So she worked all the time to take care of me and my sisters. And it got worse when my mom started dating someone after all that started because he was physically abusive to me and my sisters. I have two sisters. And when my mom wasn't around, he would beat all of us. And then his brother would come over and do even worse to us. He would molest me and my sisters. So I lived in constant terror then because I wasn't safe anywhere. So I just tried to escape and food became that for me. Food made me happy and when I needed that, I ate. So that's when I really started gaining. And by the time I turned seven, I weighed about 150 to 200 pounds. So I was putting on weight quickly, and that didn't really change. By the time I was 10, I was already up to over 250. But I never really thought it was a big deal until I turned around 11 or 12 years old. Because I started getting bullied at school, you know, pretty heavily. So it was miserable. But eating is how I've escaped it all. So from 10 to 13, I put on another 100 pounds. I got over 350 pounds by the time I was 13. But the abuse stopped around then, because when I was 13 years old, I told mom about the abuse. And she couldn't handle it. She didn't really say anything to me to comfort me or anything like that. But she did do something because it all stopped after that. I was still mad at her then, because she was the one who let all of that happen. And after that, we didn't really have a relationship for a long time. But at least she made sure it stopped. So things got a little better through high school. And over the next four years, I put on another 70 pounds and was around 420 pounds when I graduated. So I was still gaining, but just not as much as before. After I graduated high school, I was 18 years old, and I was afraid of men, you know, afraid of dating men. And to the point where I thought I was gay. And that led me to meeting a girlfriend at the age of 18. But she had kids, so I had to start working to help out and pay for things. And that was a lot for me. And I ate my emotions. I ate my stress. Every time the kids would want to eat, I would eat. And over the next few years, I got over 500 pounds. After college, I went and worked for our local crisis center. And then I went and worked for a company that helps with the developmentally disabled community. But I was still gaining, and eventually, my weight really took a toll. And I was unable to really take care of my clients the way they deserved, so I left. I went and worked at a cab company because it was somewhere that didn't require me to be as active. And I did that for around four years. So for a while, I had a lot to focus on in my life. And food wasn't as much of like a constant thing for me. But slowly, my whole life changed. Starting with me and my girlfriend breaking up, we were together for 12 years from the time I was 18 till I was 30. But as time went on, I started to realize that I wasn't gay. Ultimately, after many years of contemplation, I did leave. And I got a place with my sister Katie for a while. We lived together with her son Josh, but Katie started struggling with drugs. She kept trying to quit for her son, but she relapsed three different times while living with me. 
And that was stressful because all the stuff with my sister culminated in me having to take custody of Josh to protect him. So he still lives with me because I won custody of him. And fighting for Josh led me back to using food to cope. So I started gaining a lot again until I met Freeland. When I got with Freeland, it kind of slowed down a little bit at first, but I met him a few years ago when I was 32 and still working for the cab company. And Freeland and I did not like each other at first. We were very, very standoffish with one another. He hated me, I hated him, but we just, you know, let bygones be bygones, work together, and somehow in the midst of that, we both fell in love. I first met Crystal, I was driving for a cab company in Portsmouth, and I get a phone call out of the blue. Somebody telling me they're my new boss. And I just said, I'll take your word for it, and hung up. And it was Crystal. I thought she was a horrible person. At first, she thought the same about me. But after three or four months of working with her, we just kind of started talking and never really stopped. <laughs> so we got engaged shortly after that, then got married this past year. And it's been me, him, and Josh living here as a family. And I'm thankful to have both of them in my life because they're what drives me to keep going every day. They give me a reason to be okay. But I'm not okay. I can't even take care of myself now or provide for my family because I had to stop working because I got too big. And Freeland is so great about working and providing and everything, but at the end of the day, he's exhausted. He works 50, 60, 70 hours a week just to get us by. But then I need him to do more to help me do things I should be doing on my own. And I hate it. And it's all because I can't give up food. You know the cravings, they don't go away, so I'm always binge eating. And because of that, my family's life revolves around food too. The one thing that he always has said is he doesn't care how big I get, he cares about my health. And he was okay with my weight when we got together because it wasn't affecting my health, like it is now. Now it's a whole different story. And I hate how I'm passing on how I eat to Josh. And what I'm doing to myself is starting to affect his health. Because Josh will eat large amounts of food for somebody his age and size. He'll eat fast and not pay attention. And I know that's because that's how I do it. What he's doing is a learned behavior and he learned it from me, his mom. And I can't live with myself if he ends up like me. So I know that I have to change before that gets any worse, before I get any worse, because I hate what I'm doing to my family. And I don't want to be like this anymore. Grandpa's been in his room for a while. I gotta get him out here for dinner. You want me to go get him? No, nah, he can hear me. Grandpa, dinner's done. I love my granddaughter very much. You know, she eats too much, and I ain't afraid to tell her, but she won't list any of If you're gonna eat, you're gonna eat any of you know. But I don't worry about losing crystal, because if she don't lose weight, she might die. It'd be pretty hard to take, really, you know, being your granddaughter. I hate being as immobile as I am. I wanna be able to do more. I wanna be able to go more places and do more things. I want to be able to do more around this house. I want to be able to take care of my grandpa. I want to be able to take care of my son, my husband. You know, the way that they deserve to be taken care of. But that's never going to happen if I don't lose weight now. I think I'm ready to confront my demons. I think I really am. Because I've never been more ready to change my life. And I have to change before something bad happens to me. And food costs me everything.